What's up, Saiyan Army? So, before this video begins, arm workout going down. That's what you're watching on your screen right now. Real simple arm workout. If you watch any of my recent how to get big arms videos, it's the same workout. I'll put the full workout in the description as always. So feel free to do that on your own. Anyways, I want to touch on a topic on today's video. And someone commented on one of my videos. I actually couldn't find it again, but they commented something like 95% of your gains is made after two years of lifting. And they made it sound like, oh, what's the point of lifting after that? And I'm gonna have to disagree. Now, I will agree that majority of your gains are made after the first couple of years, you know, via newbie gains. Any of you guys that's been lifting for, you know, anywhere in the realm of two to five years will know that majority of your gains were made in the beginning now, but not 95% of them. And I think you ask any natural bodybuilder that's been lifting five, 10, you know, 10 years plus, they would agree with you as well. And the point I wanna get across to you guys in today's video is that a lot of people think that think of fitness as like a means to an end like there's some kind of finish line that you cross and like once you re achieve maximum aesthetics you're done you know you quit you're good you know when that's not how it goes <laughs> if you ever you know are really happy with your physique and then you stop lifting guess what you're gonna shrink you're gonna go back downhill you know lifting is one of those things where if you don't keep it up and continue to push yourself then eventually you're gonna start going backwards that's why complacency sucks and that's something I really enjoy about lifting is that it's a constant progression is there diminishing returns the longer you lift hell yes but it's all about that slow progression like I talked to you guys about my goal like this is the reason why I have full arm days is because for like the past five years, I believe five years ago, I had 16 and a half inch arms. Today I have 17. If you do the math, that's about that's about 0.2 inches a year. And that's why I started dedicating full arm days. If I can get even to 0.25, that would be great. You know, that means in the next four years, then I'll achieve them 18s. But it doesn't matter. The whole goal with lifting is just progression. Progression. Each and every year, just slowly progress. You know, whether your progression is as fast as others, it doesn't even matter. And also, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my transformation in today's video. Preparing this video, I looked through a lot of my older pictures, and social media has been around for a good amount of time now and before social media I didn't take any pictures for my progress um, I'm gonna link down below my 10 year transformation video for you guys to watch it got about half a million views and it got a lot of people loved it you know I don't have you know a ton of pictures because like I said social media wasn't in back then but I do tell you guys my story and how I started and I'll talk about it a little bit in today's video. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel, in that video I actually thought I started at 16 years old when I just found out actually just a few, like a week ago that I actually was 15 years old when I started. Um, I was about 15 and a half. I started my sophomore year summer um, going into my junior year. So that's when I started lifting and I was at a whopping 120 pounds. And I'll post pictures as we go along this journey. I started at 120 pounds and I was just tired of being you know small you know 120 pounds is a stick i believe i was 5'8 already at that time and yeah i was 120 pounds at 5'8 and i was like a walking stick and i just didn't want to be that stick boy anymore so i started lifting after my first year i got got up to about 145 pounds after my second year i reached a maximum weight at 170 pounds and this was fluffy so i reached 170 pounds and i thought damn this stuff is easy i'm gonna be jacked as hell i'm gonna go super saiyan broly pretty soon and yeah little did i know that <laughs> 170 was gonna be in my blood for the next till today. Thank God I didn't know it back then. I might have been a little bit demotivated. But anyways, I got to 170 pounds and then I did my high school competition. High school competition, I cut down to 145 pounds for that show. I remember that number because when I saw how light I had to get just to compete, I was pissed. I thought like, oh yeah, I'd lose like another, you know, 10 pounds or 15 pounds and I'll be shredded for this show. I'll be like I think I was 170 back then, so I'll be like 155, 160, just be shredded and I'll be good. But I got to 145 pounds, which was, again, demotivating, but it's all good. You know, the show was a great experience and I did like this full bro diet. I go really into detail in my 10 year transformation video, but it was horrible. This was back before if it fits your macros, back before, you know, a lot of this science, back before even YouTube was around. So I could even look this stuff up. You know, all we had was muscle and fitness and the Arnold Bible back then. So we kept on lifting. So that was two years in right there. 
when I competed. That was two years in, and I'm gonna show you guys two years in and today, and you're gonna see a big difference, you know? Um, that picture at two years in, I think it was like 160, 65 pounds ish or something. And obviously, I was a little bit fatter. You know, I wasn't, every day was bulk mode back then. You know, I wasn't trying to stay leaner, I wasn't lean bulking at all. I was just eating everything, anything and everything I could get my hands on. And like I said, in the 10 year transformation, I go through my entire diet, which was pretty wild back then but it was good because people told us that hey, if you want to get big you got to eat big and that's what we did we just ate and ate and ate and that's how I was able to gain you know 20 pounds my first year into lifting another 20 pounds granted not all of that was muscle but we were making gains you know my programming wasn't the greatest we we're just doing whatever we're in the gym six seven days a week just because we had nothing better to do and we're just smashing the weights maxing out horrible form whatever just getting a good pump and having fun but that's where we that's where you know i learned how to love the gym so fast forwarding to if you look back in 2012 that's when i did my second show 2012 and here you'll see my physique and i think i was about 165 back then 2012 that was about four years ago yeah so about 160 165 in my shredded pictures i was probably in the 150s to 155 pound range and yeah that's what i look like in 2012 then you go to 2013 and that's when i pretty much went full bulk mode i just ate a lot um, i have this one picture where my arms just look huge and blown up um, i think even then it, they're only like 17 and a half at full bulk mode i think i've never measured my arms at 18s before actually this week i'm gonna measure my arms after we work out i'm gonna measure it before and then after with the full pump just to see if i can cross the 18 inch mark <laughs> just to see just because i haven't seen it before and then you go to 2014 that's when actually i started with alpha you'll see this picture this was my first stringer ever i got from alpha and i was like damn i kind of like these stringers you know show a little bit of gains and stuff 2014 and that's pretty much when i started um just pretty much staying lean and doing the lean bulk action i think 2015 when i first started youtube and was really trying to work for that 225 pound overhead press and really doing more of the strength side of the bodybuilding that's when i got up to like 180 pounds and look kind of sloppy and whatnot and then fast forward today 2016 we're ending 2016 and yeah it's the gains have been good man and what i want to just enforce in your guys mind is that don't look at fitness as a means to an end don't look at it as something that you're only going to do for a season of time because that's not how it's going to work you know i think a lot of people especially like when they cut they're like okay at when i cut down you know 20 30 pounds you know i'm just gonna hang out there and that's gonna be it but if you're not consistently working to stay there then guess what you're gonna go backwards you're gonna go right back up so no there is no natural limit you know you know a lot of you guys look up to me because i've been lifting for like you know 13 years i look up at a lot of these natural pro bodybuilders a lot of these guys have been lifting for 20 plus years like if you look at the black guy that beat matt ogus at his competition he looked amazing and homie was in his 40s so like i don't know if i'll be able to make gains in my 40s but will i push myself to make gains yes you know into my 30s i'm still gonna try to make gains into my 40s i'm still gonna try to get make gains because fitness is a lifestyle and it's something that i love to do and that you will love to do too as you keep on going and keep on progressing and that's all that matters really every year all that matters is you make a little bit of progress and that's just life in general i did a whole video talking about progress and making gains every single year and throughout everywhere in your life monetarily physically you know mentally emotionally everywhere you know with your relationship same thing like relationships like if me and chi chi don't work we've been going out for nine years or eight years or I don't know one of those two but yeah if we don't consistently work on a relationship guess what it's gonna tank so that's pretty much the end of the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed keep on pushing yourself just make progress each and every year at the end of this year we're gonna set new goals for next year and we're gonna demolish them like always so see you guys in the next video much love strength and honor aloha vegeta what does the scouter say about his power level it's over 9,000!